Hey everyone, so this is going to be a fingerprint scanner test between the iPhone 7 Plus and any of the largest flagship devices released this year. So that includes the iPhone SE, the iPhone 7, the LG G5, the Xperia X Performance, the Galaxy S7 Edge, the Galaxy Note 7, HC 10, and the OnePlus 3. So let's get started with the iPhone SE. Now the fingerprint scanner on the 7 Plus is greatly improved over the SE as you'll see in this test. So clearly a lot faster on 7 Plus. Also a bit more accurate in my opinion. Yeah, so both pretty good, but clearly no contest here. Alright, so next up let's look at the 7. And there shouldn't be any difference between the two, but we'll see. Yeah, it looks about the same to me. Let me know what you guys think. Yeah, again, looks exactly the same. Uh, next up, let's do LG 5. Now, on the LG 5, the fingerprint scanner is located on the back. Uh, personally, I'm not a fan of the placement, although this uh, scanner itself is decent. So you see here, this is where it's located right here. So a bit mixed I think. As you see on the iPhone they do have the uh, voting animation. Although sometimes LG is faster. Yeah let me know what you guys think. I think in terms of actual speed so the iPhone does some animation I think it's pretty similar. Although again I really don't like the placement of it. Also, I think that the iPhone is a little bit more accurate, but both are pretty good. Uh, next up, let's do X Performance. So, the Xperia X Performance is located here on the side. Now, sometimes I think it's faster on the X Performance. Yeah, again, let me know what you guys think. Personally, I think that the iPhone is a little more accurate. Uh, although, X Performance, if you can get it right, I think it's a bit faster. Though, not much of a difference. Alright, next up, let's look at the Galaxy S7 Edge. And guys, both these Galaxy phones are the Snapdragon version, the American version. So, I'm not sure if it makes a difference, but... On the west, that's the version I have. Yeah, so clearly faster on the iPhone here. Though I do gotta say the Galaxy is very accurate. And guys, all these phones, big improvements over previous year models. Really all these phones, I mean you have like a 95% uh, accuracy rating at least I'd say. Works at least 95% of, uh, of the time on all the phones, I think. But yeah, clearly a little bit faster here on the iPhone. Although you do have that voting animation, which kind of... You see they're not reading it. Uh, you do have the voting animation on the iPhone, which kind of distracts you from it. But still, a little bit faster. Alright, let's look at the Galaxy Note 7. So this is the new version recall just picked up last night. I think again it may be a tad bit slower, but really not much of a difference at all. Yeah, let me know what you guys think, but for the most part, I mean, 
think it's really similar. All right, next up, let's look at do the HTC 10. HTC 10, I think, may be a little bit faster. In my opinion, not quite as accurate, but still, you're talking about the difference of like 99% versus 98%. Yeah, so I think it may be a little faster on HTC. And finally, we're going to do the, uh, save the best for last here, one plus three. In my opinion, this is by far the best fingerprint scanner of any phone I've owned. Uh, now, I don't know if it's actually the most accurate. You know, I don't know if like someone copies your fingerprint or how easy it would be for someone to use a different fingerprint to log in. Let's just say if I'm using, uh, I don't think I have it registered to my left hand. Let's say if I'm using, all right, I must have it registered. Let me just do a finger that I don't have it registered to. So I, Yeah, I don't want to, all right, too many attempts. Yeah, so I did have the two set up as you see here. Um, let me just see if it will let me log in now. All right, so as you saw, they're really lightning quick. I mean, you're literally just pressing the button and it loads up. No animation at all. Black screen is only up for a few milliseconds. All right, so yeah, clearly one plus three, the winner there, and the winner overall of all the phones. So I will say this, I think that the, um, the, the iPhone definitely improved over previous year's models, like the iPhone SE. Still some room for growth. Uh, so, you know, below, I would say below the AC10, below the OnePlus 3, a little bit above the Galaxy, although the international version Galaxy may be better. And with the Xperia performance, LG, more of a mixed bag, I think. Um, so for the most part, I'd say that the fingerprint scan on this is average. In terms of accuracy, it is one of the best. In terms of speed, I think it's more average. All right, everyone, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe for more content like this in the future because when I get more phones like the Xperia XZ, uh, the LG, uh, LG V20, and the Google Pixel phones, we'll be doing more tests like this. And as always, thanks for watching.